Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, as we discovered last episode, if we go to the star map real quick, there's really no Jade Falcon left anywhere. They got smoked out here but in a day by Clan Wolf. Uh, and all the worlds they had a little bit of control on are pretty much gone here. Steel Viper is slowly on its way out. Wolf is taking control. Uh, but we're here right now at Huntress. It's a half skull world. Clan Smoke Jaguar. We're going to help them out. So now I guess we're considered um, uh, dark cast or dark cased. So we are basically the pirates of Federation or of the uh, Clan Space right now. So um, we're still running with Jade Falcon symbolism. So we're going to be doing our best to impede Clan Wolf, which was the clan that basically removed uh, Jan, uh, Jade Falcon from the map. So we're going to be taking missions against them as much as possible. But right now, let's have a look at the mech bay. So I made an adjustment on the cougar. I said I was going to change that. Let's have a look what's going on here. Something's up. Okay, so what is it that's causing a problem here? Nothing. Why is it telling me there's an issue then? Ammo. Is streak ammo... It is totally separate from regular ammo. I didn't even see that. Damn. Wasn't even paying attention. Um, so we got an extra ton then. Sorry, yeah. So we changed the loadout here. We put in a bunch of streaks. Um, and put a medium pulse laser. We only picked up regular pulse lasers last time. I... I for some reason, I thought we had clans after the last mission, but we didn't. They were just regular pulse lasers. We do still have them, but they've got very, very short range compared to the clan pulses. So we got one clan pulse. We got two SRM4 streaks, one SRM6 streaks. I'm not putting this in the arm. I want it just if we lose an arm, I don't want to be losing all of my weapons. But uh, we got just a regular SRM2 in here. Now we got an extra ton. We're really heat efficient right now. We're pretty much bang on. So let's have a look. Maybe we switch out. How much is this way? Three tons, so that's not going to work. We don't have an LRM4. LRM5 is one ton, but we didn't need a ton of ammo. Um, so that's kind of a write-off. We have anything? I don't think we have anything equipment-wise that we can put in. Guardian ECM is one and a half. You know, I'm thinking if we put the Guardian ECM in... This SRM2 is not giving us the... I mean, the micropulse is at close range. Six times three, plus two accuracy, 120 meters. This is 330 meters, but no, ac no accuracy bonus. Six heat and seven heat. Well, we've been doing a lot of backstabbing, so I'm thinking probably the micro pulse is better. So let's pull this out for now. Streak rounds, still 100 rounds, right? Yeah, so we got 200 rounds. That's, let's see, 14, so. Yeah, about 14, a little over 14 or a bit in terms of, of uh, fire. So let's confirm that. It's only one day. But you also see too that I pulled the adder out of service. Uh, it was just sitting there taking up space and costing us money. So we we dropped it our uh, management almost below uh, uh, five hundred thousand right now. It wasn't the financial statement, but once this mech got fixed, it wasn't. So and that's really all we changed. So let's jump into a contract reel really fast here, so we can get maybe two or three pulled off depending on how hard they are. So we've got a bunch of half skulls, one skulls. Got the general here. It's against Clan Snow Raven. I don't. I'm gonna try and take as many against Clan Wolf as possible. But um, I'm thinking we take because we got enough for the financial statement. I think we take the on guard mission first. It's against Clan Wolf. Uh, I don't know, man. Like we need parts, right? That's pirates. Snow Raven. Uh, Snow Raven. Uh, not much we can really do here. Don't want that. Me protect the mechs against Clan Wolf. 
It's a two skull though. It could be really tricky to pull this off. It's in the desert too, right? Um, and a second one. The locals will attempt to exploit the vulnerability. Um, yeah, let's go. The locals again at one and a half. Let's try a one. Well, the payout is so lousy. I mean, we could take full salvage and then just sell stuff. Or just cover our drop costs. Let's go this route. Let's take this one. Um, not the best, but we'll go for it right now. I just want to make sure we can pull off these missions. If this one's a breeze, then we'll take the, the uh, two skull against the... Um, Clan Wolf next. All right. Oh, yeah, you also notice our pilots have got a bit more experience now. So we've got uh, called shop bonus on Griff. Uh, more piloting on El Duce, uh, plus a little tactics. More piloting on Mockingbird, and more gunnery on Blockade. So let's deploy and get this done. All right, let's see what we get here. Okay, I know where we are. So blocking force, and then force up here probably. Waiting for orders. Full speed. So it's nice to be back up to five medium pulses on the uh, Grinner again. Okay. Good to go. Confirm. I'm interested to see how this loadout works. Got lots of bonuses to hit now with that guy, so. Just running. Got it. Commander. Um. On the move. All right. I guess nothing up here. Let's keep moving in. Maybe we get a really tough lance at the end. That would kind of be nice. Roger that. Commander. All right. Copy that, Commander. So I'm recording, I'm recording this episode back to back with the other one that we just did, the last episode. So if you don't hear uh, any response or don't get any, I mean, depending on what the comments are for the last episode. Um, I'll be taking them into account in the next episode, not this one. I'm probably going to be recording two at a time, um, just because it's easier um, during the week, because I am running the two series at the same time. I just want to get a couple ahead and in the bank here before uh, the week starts, and that way uh, when it does start, it'll be easier for me to make sure we get all of the uh, episodes every night. All right, Griff, uh, you're going to be doing the activation, so let's get you over here. Just simply because he's got the longest range weapons. Yep. Yeah, I'm liking this loadout too with the two medium pulses in here. Taking out the ATM-12 out and putting the ATM-6 in. Um, and two medium pulses I think is a huge difference on that mech. Standing by. But I really want to see how these uh, SRMs... SRM's uh, the streaks work out in this one. Commander. All right, brace. Actually, let's go over here because the vehicles kind of get bogged up over here. Yes, Commander. All right, blockade. Let's get you as far forward as we can. And Duce, let's get you down here. All right, looking okay there. Can you continue to advance to the extraction point? All right. Gun technical. The hell is that? 
rocket techie? The frig is that thing supposed to be? The range on these things again. 441. Yeah. Roger. Oh, there's a mech here too. Jenner. Well, that's pretty damn good chances to hit it, like maximum range, man. Engage. Get some early shots off on this mech that hasn't moved. All Standing by. Acknowledged. I have no idea what that gun technical is going to do, but let's see if we can finish him up. Ah, down. whole lot of garbage, I guess. All right, they got a grinner too. Oh, that's our grinner. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought it was coming down this hill. Oh, don't shut down, dumbass. Okay, Duce. Understood. Let's see if we can finish this guy up really quick. HE, let's do it. All weapons, fine. Nope. Oh. Guy's taking a punishment, man. Now they did they even they might have another person around here. Another mech or something. He's fleeing the interview. Yeah, we're not going to get to shoot that guy. Let's move over here. Got to get these mechs rolling. Yeah, fire everything. Oh, two hits. That low chance, really? Get a chance to cool off here. Okay, Stinger. Light damage, Commander. Yep. Hope they don't kill that Jenner. I want to see what I can do here with this guy, the Cougar. Uh, Duce, let's not move too far. It's just, I'm going to actually move back here. On my way. I know, I should really shoot the Jenner, but I want to get these guys moving as well. Uh-huh. What do you need? 
Ah, forget it. Let's just kill him. Let's get him off the map board. Man, we're gonna get lousy salvage out of this. Unless that last lance is really cool. Yeah, nice so they had an excellent lance. Standing by. Um. Let's give these guys a place to run to. Ready for orders. Shepherd these guys. Come on, full speed, guys. Full speed. Don't brace. Commander. Commander. Don't go out yet. I uh, can't go too far. That's probably far enough. Receiving you. Managing heat. Just sprint it, guys. Come on. Man, the last episode of Cold Forge, we had the same kind of mission. And these guys were so slow. They just got ground up in the, uh, in here. Aye, aye. Um, let's get you in within striking distance. Okay. There it is, folks. Hold this position, Commander. The package will be on its way soon. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of guys up there. Well, I don't know. Yep, there they are. Wasp. Okay, not so bad. Two guys. These guys moving at dog ass speed. Okay, let's get up here. Keep these guys under our ECM bubble here. What do you got here? Commando, Commando, Wasp, and there's probably one more up there somewhere. See what they're doing. That's it. God damn it. Just move it. Orders. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to sit here. Standing by. Confirm. Holding and cooling. On my way. He can't leave until this guy gets in the square, or else this guy won't move. Once that guy gets in here, man. You know what it is? They can't see me. I'm under ECM bubble. They can't see me. So they're just not moving. Finally, he's in the square. Good to go.
Let's get on these guys. Looks like it's only three. Well, this is going to be lousy salvage. Let's hope for a core. Or two or three. I'm going to switch this back to regular ammo. I don't want to overkill this guy, but we want to try and take this other leg here. Got it. I know it's not the best to try and take a leg with, Commander? but... Sweep the leg! Gotcha. This is a little bit too much for the leg as well. Let's just use uh, three. Okay, both legs. Nice. Christ, it looks like everything was destroyed. Let's move. Good job. Wow, three of us are in the <laughs> in the exit point already. Two SRM6s, AC2, we're going to kill this guy. A little more dangerous. Enemy critical damage detected. Ready for order. Just because of volume of fire. Alright, let's see how these streaks do on a non-moving target. Critical hit, Commander. Not bad. All right. Targets taking a critical hit. Waiting for order. Ten four. Shred him. Ten four. Alright, let's see what they do. The last turn of existence. Come on. Well, he gave it the college try. Can't say he didn't. Shred him. Enemy mech destroyed. Good to go. Moving out. Affirmative. Yeah, that's it for this guy. Alright, let's see what junk we get. All right, contract payment increased by 20%, so we got at least we made a little bit of cash off that. Not much, and no, I'm not even bother looking for damage. Okay, what do we got here? Four items of junk. Take that for cash, cash, cash. Should take a hand. God, it's just garbage here. Light rifle ammo, which we don't have. Machine gun half ton. LRM ammo. Um... We're going to be getting most of this stuff anyway, so let's just go with... Uh, we don't have any light rifle ammo right now, so let's grab some of that. Yeah. Alright, three mech parts. Some chaff, rocket launchers, light rifle. Yeah, machine gun array. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. And junk. Okay, let's see what we got here. That mech you wanted is oh. Uh, wow. Wow. It's a 2C Jenner. I didn't think you could get 
that Jenner that we fought wasn't a clan Jenner, I don't think. So I didn't know that they would mix parts like that. And like no days or nothing really bad for repairs. Let's have a look at that Jenner though. That's our second one now. We got two of those. Not the same type, but two Jenners. What'll it take to fix this guy? And what's in here? More so is the question. Wow, narc launcher and a micro pulse laser. Two micro pulse lasers. 148,000. Let's just. Um, yep, going to do it. And the reason why I'm going to do it is because now we've got mechs in storage. If something happens to us, we've got like. Because right now we've got, let's see here, we've got three. What do we got here? Kit Fox, Jenner, 2C, and this guy. So we'll have the Jenner, there's another Jenner. So we'll have four mechs in storage. So if something ever happens to our Lance, we'll at least we'll have another Lance to fight with. All right, Cougar up in one day. Oh, yeah, by the way, I picked, I uh, paid Splurge for a lounge too because uh, it was so. Um, we had the we had the C bills, and it's that uh, plus one tech and plus two morale is uh, definitely handy. Not that we're burning through a lot of morale right now anyway in, in battles, but we will soon enough, so. All right, let's get six days going here. Hey boss, we just completed those Thank upgrades. you. Okay, so let's go and look at the contracts. Let's go take that one against Clan Wolf now. Uh, same one. Uh, where is it here? Protect the mechs. Here we go, against Clan Wolf. Uh, yep, Clan Wolf. So we're going to take this one, negotiate. And let's go the same route. We definitely need we definitely need a lot of gear. Um, and the thing I like about escort missions is uh, the fact that they come in four mech waves, so it should be relatively easy to pull them down. Uh, even at two skulls, um, they shouldn't be overly uh, powerful for us. Plus, we'll have a few guys to help us out during the escort part of it so that's kind of good so let's deploy this and get it done Command interface initiated. Oh, okay I haven't done an escort mission on this map before all right let's see what we're up against here so this looks like the extraction point so we activate them here, they make their way across this way, I guess. Doesn't seem like too, or, too far to go, but if the enemy comes up on the hill here, they're going to have the height advantage on us. Looks like we got these guys to fight through first. Start behind a rock, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, let's make our way along here. Yeah, we're going to reserve you first because you're everyone else is in the way. All right, Griff. Lead it off here. Oh yeah, I've been mentioned. I've been meaning to mention too. Um, I've been trying to get to everybody's comments. Um, I am getting a lot more comments now in uh, the comment section of the videos, which is fantastic. I love it. It's awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, but. If I, if for whatever reason, I'm just worried now. If I, if I miss somebody's comment, uh, don't take offense. It's just that I'm trying to like get to everybody's comment. I'm trying to make sure I see it, all the comments, and you'll know if I've seen it because I drop a little hard on it. Um, I try to read everybody's comments just to make sure. Um, but uh, if for whatever reason I miss your comment, don't take it personally. It's just for some reason I missed it. That's all. I know it's commonplace on like, everybody's. Uh, YouTube page. You don't always get a chance to respond to everybody, but I just want to let everybody know because I have been responding to everybody that it, that I'm not ignoring anybody. It just that I just no matter how negative the comment, I'll never ignore it. Um, it's just that I don't always get a chance to uh, to respond. Okay, so I think the Grinner is really the target we want to kill, but I think maybe because I have a better chance in the Jenner here, and he's got all that friggin' LMGs. We try and kill this guy. Okay, they are fully armored. Got it. So let's apply some streaks to this guy. I yeah, liking this loadout now. 
devastating against mechs that are in the open, that's for sure. Way better chances to hit. This greener is going to be our next target. I think this guy's moving now. Okay. The biggest fear I have with those LMGs is head hits. Aye, aye. We do have a couple of those, um, I copy. what are they called? Co not coils. Whatever they are, the, the head uh, protection. I think they're called coils, something like that. Um, I think we need to keep applying damage to this guy. So let's go this route. We haven't even broken through the armor yet. A couple small places maybe, but that's about it. Other genders moving, I think. If I had to guess. That's interesting. No idea what he's got. By. Probably just didn't shoot that much because he can't hit me that well because of the ECM. This was the guy we've been hitting, right? Way better chance on this guy, but I think we should go after this guy. Much as I don't want to, I think it's better that we do because maybe we can take some pieces off this guy. Nope. Okay, fire starter. Interesting. Maybe they're not targeting. They're not firing because of the ECM and it's just they've got really bad chances to hit. Kind of looks that way. So I went with piloting six on our, on our uh, ace pilot mechs. Just so we get that plus one evasion. Confirmed. Gonna keep moving along here. God, the chances on the second gen are so much better than the first. I think the first one's the one with the ECM on it. I think I'm gonna switch targets to this guy just for this. Look at the chance to hit. Still really good on this guy though because of our targeting computer, so we'll take it on this one. Okay, we might have to be pretty close to taking this leg now. Still can't see, but he's got lost has he lost half his armor. Let's hope the Nova can go next and we can take this uh use this stability loss to uh, affect him, but I don't think so. Oh yeah, we should be another Grinner should go before him. Because he goes on twenty. He must have ATMs then. He's only doing six damage. Because we're not. Oh, we're in the woods. That's right. Yeah. So he. Yeah. It must be SRMs streaks probably. Let's see where he goes. Not moving. Ooh. Well, hello there. Let's just move right up beside our ECM, and dump everything into this guy. He's going down. That hit something good. Hopefully he's the ECM carrier. I got a feeling he is, but we'll see.
What is he doing? I don't know if he's got a uh, Goss cannon, though. He might not have a Goss. Now, do we take advantage of the kill on this guy or the unsteadiness on this guy? Next off the field, guys. I'm going to overheat here. Um. Go for the CT. Let's go this route and fire. Okay, that was enough. Good. I hope we can salvage that. The fact that we've got to like burn straight through and blow the engines up on all these mechs means we're losing a lot of gyros and stuff like that. So I think maybe once we start getting the, um, a few more medium pulse lasers and, st and stuff. I hope we can get off this Grinner. Once we get a few more weapons, I think we're going to just start choosing uh, the ultra, like the extra light gyros and stuff. The extra lights are the ones that give you still 40 stability. The ultra lights drop your stability down. Okay, Griff. Six eighty one. Now we want to fifty two is not bad. Sixty three percent chance. But if we go for the leg, we can take his leg off and then finish him up. Mm, we'd need three hits for sure. Don't think we can do it with that. So let's just. Um, Let's just target them and fire. I'd rather have the hits than uh, firing and missing most of them and not even taking the leg. Fire started going next? Probably. Probably. Come on, buddy. Nope, Jenner. He's going to get his stability back, which sucks, but... Come on. Are you moving or are you going to stay there? Oh, interesting. Jumping is making him unstable, though. All right, full speed. Just gonna go with regular ammo on this one. Fire it all. That hit something good. Yeah, badass. Gonna take the streaks next. We're gonna move our grinner down, start engaging theirs from the one side. I think he's got the large here and then the two medium pulses on I can't remember where they all are now. Doesn't look like he's got a oh he does. <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? <laughs> I was gonna say it doesn't look like he's got a goss rifle, but apparently he does. Yeah, he's just letting me know he's still got that goss. Now ah, we gotta stay in the ECM bubble. Um, I know I said I was gonna shoot for that Jenner, but I think I'm gonna move down here with the with the uh, Cougar because we need some evasion. Um, I know I said I was gonna shoot for the Grinner, but I think we got better chances on this one, so we take it. If we can kill this uh, right torso, that means he loses the pulse lasers. So, or sorry, the Gauss rifle. You kick it, Mockingbird. You kick it. Right in the nuts. Uh, I just leave one off for now. Okay. 
Oh, we got a chance for leg kill. All right. Should all still be in the ECM bubble. Which is really going to help. He's going to shut himself down. Oh, he took my leg off. He should shut down from that. Oh, I'm hit. Yep. Certainly did. Blockade's reduced to one, huh? It's their generous turn here. What's he doing? Nope. Crap. Stop hitting me. Uh, let's go here. Roger. He can't do anything but restart next turn. Let's go this route. Hmm. Let's go this route. Fire. That's what you get for stepping on a mech that's down. And that guy is like not shooting a damn thing. This guy's almost lost his leg here. Oh, that's an interesting move. Waiting for orders. I mean it's not gonna save your buddy, but it's a sure as hell an interesting move. All right, let's see if we can kill him. Firing. Good angle. Fire. Good. A critical hit. You sure did. We cannot get off here. So this is our ECM guy. All right, enjoy this, buddy. Not anymore. Enemy mech destroyed. Battle mech power up detected. Battle mech stand up detected. So his left side is gone. His right side. It is. It's because you're missing a leg, buddy. But we could hammer this guy with everything. Yeah. Yep. He had it. Okay, is it next turn? I guess so. This guy has not really taken any damage. Low back armor. Well, lower than normal. I'm doing this to push him back a turn, plus he hasn't moved. Mm. Nah, I don't want to risk it. Oh! Didn't see that one coming. All right, let's move on. Can I move as fast as our slowest mech? So let's just walk it up. Good to go. 
Full speed. Not my way. Alright guys, so we're going to need to wait for this cougar to get up here. So probably what I'll do is I'll cut the video here. Um, and wait for our cougar to get up. Kind of like in this area here. And I'll come back because it's just going to take forever for him to get up there. Um, yeah, so I'll see you all in a minute. Alright guys, so we're back. I couldn't quite get the cougar across the hex here. So he's going to actually activate the uh, mechs. So we'll have to go at this point. We got the Nova and the uh, Grinner up over here behind this hill, and we're up over here. So I think we'll order. probably be. Oh, we got our leather lance and mechs up here. So let's get in behind this hill and brace. What do we got as mechs here? Shadowhawk 2C, okay. What's this guy? Urban Mac 2C. Just want to move out into strike position. I don't want to be uh, moving into battle just yet. Another Shadowhawk 2C. A Vapor Eagle. And a Grinner. Okay, so they got some okay firepower. Let's start this off, man. Start it off. Zora, chance to hit. 90%. Let's do that, man. See if we can kill him. Looks like we did. Yep. Okay, guns off the field. Guns off the field. Okay, blockade. Full speed. Heading out. Okay, a few hits. All right. Uh, I have no idea what they got up here. But I'm going to go right up this guy's nose. So we got another vehicle up here. An Ares. Uh, I think I want this Irby down. Let's hit him hard. Fire everything. And we hit with everything. Nicely done. At least the Irbys are nice and slow. Nice. Max out our height advantage on this guy. Um, I don't know what the weight weight the Ares is, but he's got two SRMs and a or two missiles and a laser point. I think the Urban Mac definitely needs to go, so let's go on him. Okay, so he's not a threat anymore. Well, I mean he's a bullet. He's a walking bullet, but still not really a threat. Okay, medium pulses on the Aries. All right, with half, nice, not bad. Come on, shoot him, man. Nope. Okay, they got something else. No, it's the Aries. Thought I heard another vehicle moving. Okay, LRMs. I'm showing minor damage. At least these mechs are staying together, man. I'm here. Okay, keep them shepherded, buddy. Location confirmed.
Oh, he's got a pulse laser. So let's destroy him from the uh, right side. If we can. Oh, he's an ace pilot. Don't blow his arm off, damn it. Okay, it looks like his arm didn't get blown off. So the pulse laser should should still be there. Don't shut down for Christ's sake. Nice, that should be it. Now, as long as they don't freaking explode on the way here, all should be good. We had that one escort mission where the uh, that hunchback exploded. Receiving you. Let's make sure these guys are going to be moving. All right. Hopefully it's it right after they get up there. At least they're staying together. Waiting for orders. Except for this guy with a ridiculous heat. Get her a little further ahead. I'm there. Don't know if we're gonna have another lance at the end here. That seemed about right right power for two skulls, but you never know, right? It's rogue tech. Location confirmed. Ah, at least he cooled off. Good. Yes, Commander. Come on, man, keep up. God, it takes forever. There should be a point. Uh, there's the other thing I want to mention. One of the other things they should do. These mechs should detect if there's any hostiles on the field. And be sprinting if there's no hostiles. Commander? Just to save time, because this is ridiculous. Come on. Yeah. Christ, you're almost as fast as this Vapor Eagle, and you don't have a leg. That guy reserved? God damn it, that guy reserved. <sighs> Commander. Position confirmed. Like, I don't mind if they do that occasionally to just say, hey, the mission's going to be a little harder because this guy tripped or something. But <sighs> when it gets to be like this, it's just ridiculous. There's no need to reserve like that. Where the fuck are you going? Commander? It's not like I'm in your way or anything. I'm there. Jesus Christ, you guys. 
Okay, now we don't need to move at all. Oh, great. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. I have no idea where that was showing me. So I'm guessing up here. So ridiculously frustrating. Waiting for orders. Acknowledge. Oh, okay, that was a Jenner. At least it looked like it was. Stay on H E M O. We're gonna be down a mech for this. Good to go. Confirm. This asshole better move. Finally, you dickhead. Yeah, I said it. Because he's a dickhead. What do we got here? Watcher, Stormwolf, 45, Kit Fox, 30, 17. Well, we're not shooting that guy. Or we're not shooting that guy. Let's shoot this guy. Because, you know, 17%. I ah, one hit, not bad. It's a start. Commander. Copy that, Commander. Let's go eat these guys for breakfast if we can. This is a Jenner. Interested to know what they've got on that guy. All right, let's hammer this guy. Get in the goddamn... Jesus Christ, you guys are slow. Maybe those other two mechs will go around me and try and target the guys in the square there, or in the hex. That is their mission. Come on. Don't think. Do. Alright, doing calculations for something here. Come on. It's probably this watcher. Oh, something's happening. Nope, Storm Wolf. Running the risk of getting ATMs up his poop chute. Or all this other stuff too from these guys. Maybe I'll let those other guys handle him. Meh. God, don't shut down for Christ's sake. I need you guys out of here. This is taking forever. Come on. Ooh. That could have been worse. Could have been way worse. That's a kit fox, so we gotta take care of that guy. Well, we got the opportunity to get lots of Jenner parts out of this mission. Ready for orders. Move into position. 
This guy decided to commit suicide, so let's take advantage of that situation and fire. That is a kill. I hope Blockade gets a chance to shoot something. He's really the Mech Shepherd right now. Oh, that's not fun. Oh, T Samp, eh? He sent misfire damage. Yeah, see, you know, it's nice because it's like a taser, right? It's like a taser. Oh, you can actually shoot. Move into position. But uh, the problem is, is that it just doesn't, um, it doesn't um, last very long before it's uh, out of action. Oh God, let's just go with the chance to hit. Hey, we hit with a couple. Nice. Nice! Oh Christ. Just sprint for Christ's sake. Those pilots are good though. I'll give them that. So let's go with. Because <laughs> that's all we can do. No damage detected. Thank you. I swear to God, if you blow up because of overheating, I'm going to be so angry. Waiting for orders. Rolling. I don't like you. You must go. Copy that, Commander. Come on, what are you guys doing? Don't be the Jenner. I want the Jenner to sit still. Kid Fox can move. Man, this is so painful. Ow. Okay, no, no, I want the Jenner to move. <laughs> Ow. Come on, move down. Get closer. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Get a little closer. With air it extra dry. Old time TV commercials, man. Old time TV commercials. Uh, let's go here. Still a back attack. Uh, let's just leave an ATM-3 off. Fire the rest. Target okay, he's got either lots of back armor or uh, we're just shooting him in the wrong spots. No, he's got lots of back armor. Oh, he's almost done in this one torso, though. Uh, at least he missed with those. I guess he's got two tags. You really don't want to have two tags as an ace pilot unless you have, like, gunnery as well. Because, like, what's the point? Well, I mean, I guess it's the, the point is, is that you, uh... have a better chance to tag somebody, but still. Fire it all because it. we gotta do something. No joy. Nope. No joy at all. But you notice the SRMs didn't fire, right? Because they weren't gonna hit. He's going to shut down. Okay, we got to kill these guys this turn, because if we don't, um, that guy's going to shut down before getting out of the, uh, before getting into the zone. 
That time it worked. Mech destroyed. He's not destroyed, he's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Somehow I'm jammed by ECM. Probably our own ECM. Alright, firing. Ooh, nice shot! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I totally meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. Okay. There we go. Finally, thank you. Waiting for orders. Yes, All right, that's it for this one, guys. I'll do what I can. Wow. Good job. Objective secure. Wow. Cool. Mission successful. All right, so another successful mission. Increased by 30%, which is nice. 271,000. This will probably, uh, I'm thinking at least over 100,000 in repairs, probably. Um, uh, maybe not. It was just a leg. I think we only had, we had streak ammo in that leg, which sucks because we don't really have a lot of streak ammo. We don't have any more after this, so maybe we can pick some up in this mission. Thank goodness for uh, Clan Case. Uh, lots of mech parts. We could get another Grinner. That's a solid possibility, but what would I, I mean? It's not going to give us anything other than a Grinner. Fire control system tag. Grants 10 to sensor checks on a hit that decays for minus one or each hex the target moved. Two evasion pips ignore plus two accuracy. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Let's see if there's a beagle here though. Okay. Medium ER pulses. 560, 17 damage, 26 heat, and regular medium pulses, which are 4, 460, 560, 100 more. But I don't know, they're marginally better. What Are they the same weight? Same weight, but two slots. Streak 6. T Samp, I don't want. Cores, Clan XL. Tons of exchangers. Going to take that. Clan Pharaoh. Guardians. Heat Bank. Double Heat Sinks. Going to check for Streak Ammo. That's kind of a weird uh, thingy. Surveillance Cockpit. What's this? So we got 20% increased sensor range, increased sight range, minus two initiative, really? Plus two increased resolve action, 100 base sight distance. So it replaces the whole cockpit. Reduce signature on enemy sensors, share sensor information. Cockpit life support and piloting systems. I'm gonna take that. This is probably better than getting a Beagle Probe. Well, maybe not, but I mean, for now it would be. Um, another one of these guys. So if we're going to turn that Cougar into our Scout Mech, I'm thinking we probably want to go more energy build and go with more pulse lasers. So we've got a little bit of currency. We've got our scout bit that we need. So let's take the two. Um, well, exchanges are nice, but we don't need them right now. Let's take 
God, there's so much good stuff here. The ER medium pulses. I mean, only for like five extra heat and one extra damage, we're getting like an extra 100 meters range. But do we really need that? Because we're hitting with all our medium pulses without a problem right now. We could do without the 10 extra heat. There's only been a handful of instances where we've said we need an extra range, but like that last episode where, or the last uh, mission where we um, lost our leg, we still didn't have range, but well, we actually kind of did. I mean, the, the pulse lasers were hitting, so I'm just going to go with the regular pulses. Um... Yeah, let's go that route. There's so much good stuff here, but we'll go that route. Let's see what we get for the other parts. Okay, one, two fire starter parts, a grinner part, which means we're getting even closer. Kit Fox, uh, Storm Wolf, Urban Mac, Watcher, the light tag. Okay, it's not bad. We got one of the ER medium pulses and another medium pulse. Endo Steel. Okay, so we made out really well on that mission. Really, really well. 52 million in sea bills. Okay, map could not be downloaded. 122,000. So a little more. I said around 100, so 122. Not too bad. Could have been way, way worse. 13 days for repair. So when, before we finish this episode, we're going to go and we're going to uh, re outfit that cougar. It's back in six. Uh, let's manage our tasks a bit here. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, it's not. We want to do uh, this route. So we got three of our mechs back in six days. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a look at the Cougar now. Okay, refit. So I think because we're going to be the uh, scout mech, it's better to not have ammo in the legs. I mean, that could have been so much worse. If it was in the torso and we took that damage, it would have been really bad. Okay, so I'm going to pull out these guys. Uh, leave the rest in. Enhanced imaging is going to be coming out. So let's go and find our surveillance cockpit and drop that in. Oh, we can still put an FCS in here, eh? That's kind of interesting. Um, interesting. But we were going to go to the pulse here. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's just... Is the Nova back yet? Did we get the Nova back? I don't think we did. Not yet. No. Let's wait the two days and get the Nova back. Because here's what I want to do. Um... So the Nova's got a fire control system in its head for the two pulse lasers. Which we don't need in the Nova now. Because we can certainly use it in the uh, Cougar. Because we're going to have way more pulse lasers in the Cougar. Alright, let's have a refit on this guy. Okay, so streaks coming off, ammo, streak ammo comes off this streak. Let's pull out the micro pulse and the ER small, pull out this guy. All right, and then we wanted to do our, where are you here? Surveillance cockpit and our fire control systems, plus one for energy. And then we want to go and do, um, be nice if we could get this in. Will it actually work? It won't work with the uh, fire control. But this is extra weight, too. It's like three tons, right? Where is it? Yeah, it's three tons. Uh, so let's go to pulse lasers here. Medium pulses. 
uh, clan. What's our heat efficiency? Should, should, should still be really good. Uh, and then if we drop in the ER medium pulse, um, I'm going to torso mount it. Like I said, I don't like having the weapon, all the weapons in my arms. It would be nice, but if we lose an arm, it's only got 60 hits. And if we just, you know, a, co a couple of hits on this thing, we lose the arm. Um, I don't want to lose too many weapons. Uh, so we're going to balance it a little bit. So now we're going to need a bit of heat sinking here. Um, do we have... I think I used the... Um, I did. Yeah. Double heat sink it is, I guess. So can we t lose a half a ton of something? Oh, we got, it. we got the exchanger already in here. That's why originally it was so good. We don't really have anything we can take out for half a ton. And I don't want to lose any armor. I mean, we could take the ECM out, but that's dangerous. We don't want to do that. Um, heat sinking isn't that terrible. We can always cycle the weapon on and off. And we got, what, half a ton left? Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite half a ton. So let's pull out the patchwork materials. We can use it somewhere else. And then we'll add a little bit of back armor. So one, two, three, four. We got one point left. Uh, let's max out the back because we'll be in close. So we want to make sure we got we're well protected. I think that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we don't put all our heat sinks in one basket here. Spread them around a bit more. Nineteen thousand two days. That's actually really really acceptable. And this surveillance, I'm interested to see how this works. With 100 plus 100 base sight distance, uh, increased sight range and sensor range. Stacking bonus to five to sight sensor checks made by by the unit. Yeah, let's try this. So next episode, we'll have a nice scout mech. Right, I'll get it in the schedule. Now, if we can find a better ECM, like a like a some other kind of warfare suite or something that would be good so uh, let's take the last two days here get these fixed so now we can put our Jenner in storage and strip all the pull out of nothing off of it oh there's two small pulse lasers too okay I didn't see those okay cool so that's going to save us a bit we're still at 543,000. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so that's pretty good. All right, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, if you'd like to drop a like. Um, also, put some comments in the comment section down below. I'll just the comments. And once again, if I don't um, see your comment, don't take it as me not reading it. If, I read, if I've read your comment, I'm going to put a little, the little uh, heart on it, just so you know I read it. If I miss your comment... I apologize. I'm trying to get to all of them, but sometimes I might miss things now because there's so many of them. Um, not that it's hard for me to keep up with. It's just that sometimes I find um, YouTube can be, um, I don't want to say stingy, but weird when it comes to tracking all of my comments. I'm having a hard time doing that unless I go through video by video, which is not, I mean, I got so many damn videos now, it's not really easy to do, but you know, I'll try my best to get to everybody's comments, all right? So until next time, we'll see you all later.